Today, I will show you how to perform a duet with yourself or make a duet video online with a friend. So this whole project took me about 20 minutes from beginning to end to have it up on YouTube. piano on the right, that is the secondo, and the piano on the left, that is your primo. So let's take a look and see how this is done. So first, from beginning to end, we want to have a finished product uploaded to YouTube in less than 20 minutes. Um, we're going to have to see how to synchronize both videos, upload to Drive, edit the videos in an editing software, export it, and upload it to YouTube. So here we go. First thing you'll see is I set my cell phone camera on a tripod. One, set, go. One of the tricks to doing this is you have to line it up with your partner. So with this one I actually put on a metronome and this metronome you can see is actually scrolling sheet music so I don't have to memorize the song I can just follow the sheet music but it's perfectly in sync with the metronome which means when I do the other part with the metronome both parts will be lined up so I don't even stop the video I just pick up my camera on this boom stand my move it over to the other side and I'd move it over to the other side so that we can have opposite facing videos that way I can have my pianists facing each other um, notice also my audio I'm using an earpiece and that's so that I can hear the metronome but the camera can't hear it one two set go so this is the Prima uh, again, you can use uh, a number of software for for a metronome with the sheet music scrolling. I'm using Piano Marvel. It's really easy to get to. Just go to pianomarvel.com and start a free trial. And then in the library, you'll, sign, you'll find thousands of songs that you can use. This is one of them called Star Wars Duet. You can even upload your own sheet music into Piano Marvel, so it's really versatile. Now I'm almost completely done with my filming. That's all I needed. One take, one video for both parts. So next step is I gotta take this recording and upload it from my phone onto Google Drive. So let's take a look how that's done. You just click on Share, click on Drive, and then away it goes. You just wait for it to upload. Right now it's preparing. Um, this will take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. So while this is uploading, I think I'll just walk over to the computer and get ready for it because I'll be able to access it from my computer in just a minute. Now if you're doing it on an Apple, you can airdrop this to your computer. Um, if you're doing it on a Windows machine, you can just share it to drive you can also share it to drive if you're using a Mac all right it's uploaded and now I will go check and see what I have on my computer so let me just open a window here and share my screen open drive from Google and then just do a search for the video that you uploaded and then click on it and then go over here to the menu and download it click on download click download anyway and then it'll download over here if you're using Chrome you just open it up and then you have to open the editing software which I'm using Camtasia which I really really like you just drag this over into your media bin drop it there and then take it over into track one next I'll start trimming so I don't need this very beginning part so I'll just highlight that and trim it out and then I'll just drag it over to the beginning 
And now you can see these audio files down here. They tell you when you're playing it, so it's really easy to see what part of the video you're in. I don't even have to go look. So all I do is find the spot, and then I'm going to take this tool over here, which is a split tool, and then I'll drag this on top of the other video. Now, this is the whole point of this video. I want to line these two videos up so that they are playing together. And if you notice these little spikes here, all you have to do is line them up and your video is done. And because I recorded it with a metronome, then I know that they're all going to line up all the way through the end. So next, I just take and each of these clips, I want to just shrink down a little bit and trim the parts that I don't need. So this is a little trim tool I'll show you right here. Click on the trim and then just trim off this part. And then this video here, we'll want to go back out of the trim tool after that's done trimming. Let's go to this tool here and we'll just change the size. And you'll probably want it about half of the screen and the other video be the other half of the screen. So with this video, make it a little larger and then I have to trim off this back side because I don't have room for it. And then I need to zoom in a bit. So let's just go back to the size tool. Oops, that's trim. I gotta go to size and zoom in. And that's it. Your video is basically done at this point. So now I have to take and just trim off the end here. So let's just make it so they end together. And everything looks good to me. So let's go ahead and save this project. And save. And then over on the right side, this is where you export it. So we're just going to click on this button to export it. Now you could export it right to YouTube or to your computer. I'm going to do it to my computer and then show you how to upload it from there. Um, let's just go ahead and do all the default ones. And now it is exporting. I'm going to come over to YouTube, log in, and then go over to... Uh, it's almost finished. Give it just a couple of seconds. It's now done exporting. The next thing I will do is search from YouTube for that file. And it saved it in this folder over here. I'll just grab that video, double click it, and it's starting to upload. Uh, at this point, you can just name it, and then you can put in just a quick blurb or whatever. Pick a thumbnail. Uh, choose not to share, or that it's not for kids, and then click on copy this link. Over here, you'll click on make public so anybody can see it, and then finish. In moments, it will upload to YouTube and you will have your video done. So super, super easy. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, again, the one of my favorite things here is that we have uh, Piano Marble, which acts as the metronome. And I can see the sheet music, so I don't have to have it memorized. And then the editing software that I use is um, Camtasia. Super simple. You can have a student send, uh, upload a video from their house, and you can sync them up together because you really can't do this if you're trying to sync over Zoom or, or any conferencing software because of latency. This is the way around it. Get really good videos. Um, I'm going to show another video that talks about how to improve your audio. I look forward to seeing you at the next video.